here we are right down the hallway in the boardroom. Now in the boardroom, I'm going to take that virtual desktop that's on my iPad and transfer it over to the Weiss device here. The Weiss device is connected to those two screens and I'm going to present my PowerPoint and high def video and such to the audience. Now this particular Weiss thin client is a new one. It's a Weiss Zero, a Weiss Zenith. Zero actually means zero maintenance, and that's because it has a tiny little BSD microkernel inside that boots in six seconds. In fact, if you take a look at the device here, very interesting. Small, no disk, no fan, no moving parts, low energy, about six watts, and it has all the normal connectors you would expect. If it ever does fail, but its mean time between failure is pretty long because there's no moving parts, if it does, you swap it out. The cables come off, they go back on, you push the power button, and you're up in no time. And let's do that now. Turn the power off, turn the power on, and we're talking about six seconds here. What happens in six seconds? The BST kernel boots like that. It goes off to a DHCP server and gets an IP address, and it also gets instructions on where its new firmware might be in case it needs to update. And if it does, it'll upgrade itself on the fly. It also gets instructions on where Zen Desktop Broker is, so it can connect a user to their virtual desktop. And the way it does that is by the user logging in. So let's do that now. As we log in, it connects into the network, goes back to the broker, finds our virtual desktop, transfers it off the iPad, and brings it to this device that's here. So the virtual desktop is running in the data center. It's going to come to the device here. I've got keyboard and mouse. Video out is going to the displays. All the folks in the room are going to see what I'm doing. Now, earlier on the iPad, I was walking over here in the hallway. It had a PowerPoint presentation in here that I specially crafted. And you can see it's still up on the desktop. So I can share that with the folks here. I can also open up a high def video, the same one we were looking at in manufacturing earlier. And much the same happens in this case. Even though there's a tiny little BSD microkernel in here, there's an embedded Windows Media Player in there. And that offloads processing in the data center, moves it here, and it renders the video locally. Seamless, flawless, and just the way you want to have it. Now when I'm all done here, I can come to the bottom and disconnect right off that little menu. And when I'm disconnecting, my virtual desktop is no longer connected to this space. The, end, the next user that comes in can walk up to this same keyboard. They can log on much the same way. They can get to their virtual desktop and their presentations, and they can share their wonder with their audience.